Hello, my name is Jason Joder, and welcome to Cohesity Techie, Episode 1. Today I'm going to demo how to download and install a Cohesity Physical Agent. Let's get started. The first thing you want to do is download a physical agent by logging into a Cohesity cluster. Click on Protection and Sources. From here you want to click on Download Cohesity Agent. Notice we have several Cohesity physical agents. Windows, Linux, AIX, and Solaris. I'm going to click on Windows, and this will this will start the download of the Cohesity physical agent file. And then we'll just need to copy that file over to the Windows, either physical machine or a VM that we're going to treat as a phys physical machine, to install the file. Now that we put the install file on the desktop, we're going to go through the install. You want to right click, run as administrator. This will bring up the setup wizard. Click next. Now depending on your use case, if it's a physical server, you're going to want to just use volume CBT. If it's a SQL server, then you may want to use volume or you may want to use file, depend, again, depending on your use case. For this example, we're just going to treat it as a physical machine, so we're going to uncheck the file system CBT. One thing to note, that with volume CBT uh, reboot is required. Uh, backups can still be performed however they will always be treated as a full until that server or guest VM has been rebooted. Default directory is going to be C program files cohesity so click next. Now service account credentials so we're just going to go with the local system account. If you had a domain service account specified, you could click here. And same thing, I'll go over in another video about SQL. If you had a service account for SQL, you want to make sure it has access to the database as well. So again, we're just going to go with system account. This is going to show you what you're installing and click install. right now we're not going to uh, restart it. Now that we have the Cohesity agent installed, I'm going to show how you can change the service account as well. You go click on the run, go to services, find the Cohesity agent, just right click and go to properties, just like any Windows service, click on log on, and this is where you could add in your account. So if I change it to a service account, I'm going to hit OK and you always want to make sure you restart the service account. One other thing, since people want to know where are the logs kept, see program data slash cohesity is a hidden directory, but this will show you can open pretty much with, with any file. We're just going to tell it with notepad. And this is just what's showing. Now that we have the Cohesity agent installed, the next thing we need to do is register the source. So from the main Cohesity UI, under protection, go back to sources again. This time we're going to click on register. And this is going to be a physical server. And you can enter the IP address, the short name, the long name, whatever you prefer. So for this example, we'll type in the short name. When typing the short name, we had a timeout where it couldn't reach the host. So this could be a one or two things. One, either DNS is not working, which is the case here, or that the firewall port 50051, I'll put it in the notes, needs to be open on the Windows host. So instead, I'm going to go ahead and register by IP. Now that the server has registered, you'll see it under physical. Right here we can create a protection job if we wanted. So we can click on block base. We can select our policy, our storage domain. 
And we can also have the option to edit the server. Again, I'll take a, a deeper level video of this later. And we can just click protect. And if we go into protection jobs, we'll see this is running. And we can drill in to see what's going on. Again, my name is Jason Joder, and this is Cohesity Techie. Thank you for watching.